Okay, my lovelies, this is Matulu. And today I'm just showing you a video on how to prepare some fruits. It's definitely that's what you're seeing now, but most importantly, how to prepare an iron tonic. Now, the iron tonic that I'm using, it comes from eattolivenottodie.com. Uh, you can definitely order it from there, or you can make up your own. Okay, so the herbs that you can use to make up your own, and I, I think that this is a very good blend, especially for those that are dealing with anemia or any form of iron deficiency, any form of iron-related disease, discomfort, ailment, you name it. So the herbs read nettle, which is extremely essential for women's wellness, dandelion, cheney root, or sarsaparilla, or you could work with both elderberries, key lime, and ginger, and Jamaican dog blood. Those are my top herbs that I love to use in combination when I'm not using the iron blend from eat to live not to die.com. So here I'm showing you how to prepare it. So you want to pre-boil your water first. Okay. Now I've, it was roughly about two liters of water because I'm making a big batch here, as you will see at the latter point of this video. Ah, I forgot that I did this. So yes, the endocrine from eat to live not to die dot com as well. I added, mm, let's just say two tablespoons. I'm using a teaspoon, so you're gonna see me add four. But it's two tablespoons, okay? Now my point in in well, now my reasoning, sorry, my reasoning for adding the endocrine is due to the fact that it brings homeostasis to the body. When you are addressing fertility or infertility, you would want to focus on the body as a whole. Because obviously nothing is apart from each other. All systems are intertwined. They're one, essentially. But we definitely want to be looking at our endocrine system. I'll be talking about that a lot in my future videos. Many of you that have consulted with me, you already know what time it is. We need to be addressing this through the consumption of fruits mainly and herbs. Yes, fruits and herbs. So here... With the endocrine um, blend, as well as the Eat to Live Not to Die's iron, I added some cheney root as well. Now, you didn't see this, but I did add roughly about a quarter cup of pure key lime juice that I hand-pressed myself. I would encourage you to do that because the addition of the key lime juice helps you to assimilate the herbs better, i.e. absorb the nutrients from the herbs much better. And also, it gives it a wonderful taste, okay? Now, for those of you that struggle with flavor, you could definitely add some date syrup because date syrup is high in iron too. I wouldn't encourage you to work with agave, but date syrup is cool. However, I would essentially, most definitely prefer that you drank it uh, as it is with just the key lime. That's cool. We use the key lime as some flavor. Now here I'm just bottling it up in some glass bottles. And you could refrigerate this for up to two weeks, but you're not going to keep it for that long because you're going to be drinking at least two to three cups a day. If you're dealing with an ailment, if it's for general maintenance, then one to two cups is cool. Predicated that you are eating uh, lots of fruits, you are definitely eating some vegetables, dark leafy greens as well. And just minimize your grain and seed intake, but just focus on fruits. Fruits deal with hydration and elimination. So please take heed of this video and share. Take care, my lovelies.